Hello! In this tutorial of how to make Minecraft in Flash, I'm going to make a character walk around like this. And this is only because the Hazar 118. He asked me how, and I decided I should just make a tutorial on it. So, it's a lot, it, there's a lot of glitches in it, but it's a whole lot better than nothing. And I'm going to be doing this a little differently today because it was kind of a lot of script to figure out <clears throat> and like a lot of things went wrong so I have the script here and I think I'm just gonna um, explain to you how it works so here's this um, oops here's the character right here I have the um, the center of at the center of it at the bottom when oops. <laughs> when you make a new movie clip you just put the registration down here so here we have the movie clip that I named car it's just up there and I click on it and this is what the script I put in it so I have two main um, two main functions events um, the first one is on clip event load and this one is on clip event enter frame the on clip event load is what happens at the very beginning before everything happens and at the very beginning I have it make the Y speed and X speed equal to zero and make the gravity to resistance 0.7 resistance is like air resistance like when you're out in outer space you don't stop because there's no air resistance speed I made one so when you press left or right you're gonna go one um, you're gonna move the X speed by one jump is when you press up that's how fast you're gonna jump or how high up you're gonna jump I actually want to change that to 15 that looks better okay so now on, on enter frame that's what happens on every single frame of this clip so since I changed it to 30 frames per second because at 12 frames per second, it looks like this. It's really bad quality looking. So change that to um, 30 frames per second if you want a good quality video or game. So let's get back to the script. This script right here, if you put this in front of it, it looks better. This right here just makes it so that it's in front of the blocks so if if it's like that it doesn't look behind the blocks it looks on top it looks like a better platformer than if it was behind the blocks you can erase that if you don't like it so that it looks like this and it's behind the blocks instead of in front which doesn't look too bad but I don't know I just made mine on top Alright, so on every frame we want the X, the position on the screen, we want it to change by its speed. And we want them to decay, so every frame its X speed and Y speed are automatically going to decrease. When you press the right or left keys right here, when you press right, you want the X speed to add the speed. When you press left, you want it to sub subtract the speed. And then this right here is where it gets complex. This is all testing if it's hitting a certain block and if it's hitting the certain block, stop. And if it's on the ground, then jump and stuff. So this line right here, that line, just checks to see if it's hitting any block right there on its X and Y. So if there's a block uh, underneath it, then stop the Y, make it not moving at all, and like jumping or anything. And if the um, up key is pressed, then make it jump. So you add the jump to the Y speed. Also, just um, this, the falling, that just is a uh, variables to check if it's falling or not. You don't need it right now, but I'm keeping it in the script just in case I'm going to add anything else. 
So, it's just saying falling is false. When this is true. <laughs> okay, if you're not hit, if the character is not hitting any block um, on, on its feet, then make it falling and have the Y speed add to the gravity, or the gravity add to the Y speed. So it falls and stops if it's not falling. Now this right here is checking its, um, if it's hitting the left or right of the screen. So if it, if the Y speed, or X, if the X speed is um, less than zero, so if it's going this way, then I'm gonna have it check its X and um, then I'm gonna check if it's hitting anything on its side like that. So obviously it sees that it's hitting because it's not letting me go to the left. If I'm going right, I just do the same script, except right here I add plus block size. If I don't have that, then it just looks pretty glitchy. So, I guess that was just a trial and error instead of a scripter's knowledge. <laughs> and that's just if it's going um, right. And that if I don't have that, then you can just move right and left where wherever you are. It doesn't matter. So we need that. And this at the very bottom, you won't notice it right away, but... Since you can add blocks like that, we want to make it not be able to jump um, when there's a block right over it. Hmm. So, it just does this. Nothing. I'm going to do block size plus one, see if that looks better. Yeah, it looks better. Okay, change that to plus one. I accidentally did that. Okay, so this is just checking if it's hitting the top of the character, and if it is, and if you're, if the Y speed is going upwards, then just stop it. Make it stop. And that is how you make the character work. Now, if I was just going to do this on the spot, then that'd probably take way too long. I'd make tons of errors, so I'm glad I did it this way, because now I can explain all the script and have it there for you. Um, I would like to do it step by step, but I, I couldn't because of how complex this is all of a sudden. And here's a tip. The order you do things in the script matters a lot. If I have this over here then it's going to look glitchy and it's going to look a little different. Look, it even goes through walls. So, if you're ever scripting, you, you have to remember that it goes from top to bottom. It starts up here at the top of the script and goes all the way down to the bottom. And the order that you do that is really important and it will make huge issues if you do it any other way. And I hope you liked this explanation slash tutorial and the script that I just made um, it's not gonna be in the description you're gonna have to click on the link and download the file and that's that